Hi, my name is Tony Van Veen, CEO of Dish Makers. Okay, I'm going to unmask myself as a total old fogey. As if you hadn't figured that out yet by watching some of my videos. I want to talk today about what is Twitch and what's all the hype about Amazon starting to offer Twitch live streams through its Amazon Music app. Now, here's an admission. Until a few weeks ago, I'd never been on Twitch. But I've been on there now, and I have to admit, it's kind of addictive. If you're not familiar with Twitch, you can find it at twitch.tv. And it started out as a channel for people to watch esports and games. You're watching people play esports and watching people play games. But they have a music channel that has really blown up since the start of the pandemic in particular. And it's designed for live performances. If you go to twitch.tv, you click on the music channel link at the top, and you will see a bunch of windows of concurrent live performances. There's lots of DJs because it's easier as a DJ to set up a camera and spin tunes. And they're, they're spinning and chilling and it's really cool. It's great, you know, for when you're working at, or when you're at home at night. But there's also live band concerts. And the interesting thing is they have gotten huge on Twitch. Artists are attracting way more concurrent live stream viewers on Twitch than they would ever get to their concerts. Thousands, tens of thousands, frequently even hundreds of thousands of concurrent viewers. And people get to watch the video, they get to listen to the tunes, but that's just the beginning. One of the things I love about Twitch is it's kind of interactive. There's a social feed of comments of viewers who can make comments. And depending on the artist, they will reply to those comments or they will comment on the comments during the live feed, which is really a kind of connection with a fan that you can't make as an artist at a regular live concert. There are also links below the video window where you can send your fans pretty much anywhere to your website, to your Instagram, to your newsletter sign up page, to your merch page where you can sell them CDs and t-shirts, pretty much anywhere you want. As a fan, you can search by genre, you can search, which I like, by number of concurrent viewers, like who's getting the most views right now? Let me check that out. And now Amazon, who by the way, owns Twitch, has announced that musicians can now link their Twitch profiles to their Amazon Music profiles so that when they go live on Twitch, their fans will get a notification if they're on Amazon to watch it either through their artist profile on the Amazon Music app or through a new live section on the Amazon app. So what this does is potentially brings a ton more viewers to your concerts who don't go to Twitch, like until a few weeks ago, I didn't go. So it, it's, a, it's a great way to expand your live streaming audience. Now, is Twitch right for you? Well, that depends on you. Who are you? What do you do? Who are your fans? But even if your fans are not necessarily on Twitch, like I was until a few weeks ago, if I saw and received an email from an artist who I really liked, and it said, this Friday at 8 p.m., we are doing a live stream concert on Twitch and click here, click this link to watch. It's just a link click away. And so I would be likely to check it out. So go to twitch.tv, start figuring out what it's about. Maybe it's right for you. Hope you found this helpful. See you next time.